flood policies, commercial as well as residential, in Louisiana is 450,000 as we speak. Uh, that's up from 360,000 that were in place when Katrina hit in 2005. Uh, but unfortunately, that's down from uh, a high that was reached statewide in 2008 or 9 of 490,000 policies. Having said that, that's still the largest number of policies uh, for any state in America. Florida being number one with two million and uh, Texas being number two with just over a half million. So on a per capita basis, us in Florida are the two states in America with the highest participation on a per capita basis in the uh, 50, 50 states of the United States, plus the territories. So it seems like after Katrina uh, and uh, say uh, some of the other hurricanes, people just uh, who had insurance decided not to continue it. Is that pretty much uh, correct? Well, in the, in the immediate aftermath, there was a huge take up. It went from 360,000 policies to 490. Unfortunately, we have lost ground back down to 450. Having said that, uh, quite by coincidence or chance, on the week, uh, during the week before these historic floods hit that in Baton Rouge and Lafayette recently, uh, my public affairs office uh, saw come, come our way, come across the internet, uh, information from the National Flood Insurance Program that uh, indicated in Tennessee what the take-up percentage was in each of their cities. So that, that prompted us to ask for that information for the cities of of Louisiana, and we got it just the day before the rain started. Um, and what's significant about that is the low, low participation city in Louisiana is Shreveport, where 5% of the residences in that city uh, have flood insurance. But the most participation is in the city of New Orleans, the most affected by Katrina, and a bunch of other so-called 100-year storms starting in 1979 and happening about every five years uh, up to and through uh, the Katrina catastrophe. The participation in New Orleans is 39% off the charts. And uh, the only thing I can attribute that to is uh, the bitter experiences that so many tens of thousands of people have lived through in the New Orleans area. In the Baton Rouge and Lafayette areas impacted by this historic flood event, I might add that the NFIP tells me it will be their fourth worst flood event um, uh, um, experience in the history of the program. Wow. Katrina number one, Sandy number two, Ike number three, and now Baton Rouge, Lafayette number four. Uh, in Baton Rouge, the city limits thereof, only 12% of the residences were insured for flood. In Lafayette, that number was 14% when this event began two weeks ago.